Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matoro and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're gonna get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, so this video was requested by a couple of people, they've been asking me for an updated version for this video, and this video is all about the drug dealing business and even mission and etc too guys, these are, these are loads of things to do in here, so guys make sure you guys download and install all the requirements that is inside my description guys. Just to let you guys know too that I have tested this mod and it does work, okay guys. So make sure you guys download and install all the requirements. That includes the latest version of native UI.DRL 1.8. So guys, all you guys gotta do now is download this mod. I will leave this mod inside my description below so you guys can download it. I have already downloaded the mod so I don't need to do it. Once you guys have completed that, go and hover over your Grand Theft Auto V game, right click and open file location. As you guys can see that this is a clean folder. So we are going to start with a clean folder. Now guys, all you guys gotta do now is install all the requirements. So make sure that all the requirements is the latest version. So go and open up your script hook V extract folder and go into your bin folder and select the input 8.dll and scriptogv.dll drag both files into your gtav main directory open up your scriptogv.net extract folder and select scriptogv.net.asi.dll and .xml drag those three files inside your GTA V main directory. Now we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer V extract folder and then now select trainer V.asi.ini drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Now we are going to open up our menu extract folder and now select menu stuff folder and menu.asi drag both files inside your GTA V main directory once you guys have completed that then make sure you guys download the latest native UI.dll so open up your native UI extract folder now leave it open guys go inside your GTA V folder right click and refresh your folder Right click again and create a new folder. Name that folder scripts. Make sure you guys spell it right and then press enter once and press enter again and that will redirect you to your scripts folder. Click on your native UI.dll file and drag it into your scripts folder. Make sure you guys have got the native UI version. 1.8 if you guys don't know what version you got then i will tell you now all you guys gotta do is hover over your native ui.dll file right click scroll right down to down to properties and then go to details and it will say file version 1.8 now guys we have fully completed installing our re requirements so now all you guys got to do is open up your mod that you just downloaded and then wait for a few seconds now drag your extract folder on the side guys and then now all you guys got to do next is go to your gta v main directory now it says in the readme okay you guys can read the readme if you want but i already know what to do so go select your AITG data folder and your AITG.ASI and your AITG.ini file 
and then they'll drag all those three files guys into your main GTAV directory. Once you guys have completed that, all you guys gotta do now is exit out of your extract folder and then now refresh your main GTAV folder and now exit out of your GTAV folder and then now refresh your desktop guys and then now I will see you guys in the game. Now guys, all you guys gotta do now is just come outside again. Now, what we are going to do here guys, is that we are going to test our menus first. So press F4 to open up your trainer V. And there you go guys, that works. And now double click on F8 to open up your menu. Now that works. So guys, we are going to go and now activate our drug dealing mod so all you guys got to do is press F11 to activate your drug dealing mod and there you go guys so see guys it does work okay because a lot of people have been saying to me that it doesn't work so it does work okay guys so all you guys got to do now we are going to do a few things in here okay, okay guys if you guys don't know what to do in here, okay, then I suggest you guys um, comment put a comment inside the video and then uh, I can tell you guys what to do, okay. Now, it says over here, guys, to press F5. Press F5 to do a drug dealing business. Now, see, guys, I pressed get more drugs. So, we got to get more drugs, guys. What you guys got to do, okay, is that you got to go over here and do these missions. See cocaine over here, guys. Um, yes, you gotta um, do some missions guys, but you guys know what I mean, okay? Um, so yeah guys, you gotta do missions first and then you can go around, but guys just only have a little tattoo around, okay? Um, and you guys would know what to do, okay? So guys, all the missions does work, okay? I have already uh, tested the mod, okay? I tested the mod yesterday and last night okay guys so make sure you guys do install all the requirements and make sure that the requirements are the latest version if you guys are using map editor inside your gta v folder then make sure you remove that or delete it because map editor only supports native ui version 1.7 which means that that's why the mod isn't working for you because you're using native UI 1.7. So guys, make sure you guys do check your native UI before you install this mod, okay guys? So guys, with that all said, I hope you guys do like this video. If you guys did, then smash that like button. And if you guys are new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Peace and I'm out.